That isn't all. Not long before this, Danielle came under fire for cultural appropriation after she posted pictures with her box braids. However, instead of trying to listen to the criticism and understand where people were coming from, she went off on another live stream and made a completely stupid argument. This is the last time that I'm addressing this because it's getting real ignorant and real stupid and I don't like my words getting twisted, so I'm gonna just make a video so you can get exactly what I'm trying to say. So, my comment was made towards the black woman who has something to say about my hair. Like I said, to the black women who are saying my hair ain't meant for box braids, that's what I said. I didn't say to the whole black community, da -da -da. I just said back to them what they said to me. I said to all the people saying I'm trying to be black for wearing my hair in braids, well then you must be trying to be white for wearing your hair straight. That don't make sense, huh? So why you, why you can say it to me, but when I say the exact thing back to you, I can't say that. I ain't no fucking racist. I don't really know how she thought this was a reasonable comparison to make, as natural straight hair is not exclusive to white people, whereas box braids hold a lot of cultural and historical significance to the black community. Since then, she followed up the video with a post to her Instagram story where she doubled down on her argument. In the post, she wrote, to all of the black females that are saying my hair isn't meant for box braids, guess the what? Your hair isn't meant to be straight, but y'all glue whole wigs onto your heads and so Brazilian slash Indian slash Peruvian hair, which isn't anything like your natural hair texture at all. And I don't say a goddamn thing. Neither do the other cultures that you get your hair from. And on top of that, I'm not one of the people who has ever made fun or said anything bad about girls with box braids or any type of braids. I completely agree that would be out of line and cultural appropriation if I was trashing black girls for wearing braids and then getting them, but that's not the situation, so leave me alone. Since then, people kind of stopped paying attention to Danielle, and the only time that people would really be discussing any news surrounding her would either be due to her drastically changing her natural features or for the huge amount of success that she has seen through her new career on OnlyFans. Her new career ventures have become so huge in fact that she was recently invited to speak to students at Oxford University, which is one of the most prestigious universities in the entire world. So how did Danielle respond this time to all of the drama surrounding her blackfishing? Well, it seems like she's had enough of dealing with valid criticism as shortly after making the initial post, she deleted off all of the content on her entire Instagram page. However, as of recently, she has since reposted all of her content, including the post that caused all of the controversy in the first place. So it seems like she has just taken a moment to get off of social media and come back completely unbothered by her own problematic behavior.